More than 200 students at Hillcrest High walked out of school today because they say they were told to censor their Black History Month program. The walkout lasted about an hour here this morning at Hillcrest High, and students on the board of the Black History Month program say that they were told that they had to leave out topics like the civil rights movement and slavery from this year's program. We were told that we could not talk about slavery in the civil rights movement because one of our administrators felt uncomfortable. For you to tell me that I can't talk about something that is dealing with my culture is is very disturbing is very confusing hillcrest students say this walkout was a result of their frustration over school leaders dismissing their concerns about alleged censorship of a planned black history program they told us we are not allowed to talk about slavery or civil rights because it made them uncomfortable we have met with the administrators four different times multiple occasions and it's just hostile responses to us. We asking them the questions and it's just basically um, because I said so. Jemiah Brown helped organize the rally. She says this isn't the only instance where they feel the voices of African-American students are not heard in a school they say is 55 percent black. So they're calling for the hiring of more teachers and staff members who look like the majority of the students. We need more administrations that look like us. Welcome to Ears to the Streets. It's your boy HG with Fact and Entertainment Me. And first off, I just want to say major congratulations to these 200 students who's taken their situation into their own hands protesting at Hillcrest High because they want to um, eliminate black history um, studies from, from the curriculum. Like, I mean, what's really going on? Oh, now they feel uncomfortable. Oh, when we talk about slavery in the civil rights movement, something that black Americans um, in this country have endured, ancestors have endured, great grandmothers have endured. Um, well, you don't want to talk about it now, but I'm pretty sure you want to talk about your Vikings or whoever ancestry you come from that came over and uh, traveled the world pillaging and, um, you know, just sacrificing bodies as well as you uh, sacrificed our ancestors and great grandparents um, during the um, Atlantic slave trade. You know, I just want to I just want to give a huge congratulations to these students. You know, 200 came together, moved as one unit, and decided to take matters into their own hands. This shows you. If you have a collective of people on the same level, thinking alike, moving as one, anything can be done. I'm going to be watching this story very closely, very closely to see if, um, you know, here these students at Hillcrest High, you know, overcome this obstacle and are able to keep those American, uh, those black American studies within their classroom. You know, better yet, you know, let's add more African uh, history um, to the to the curriculum, to this K-12 system um, that we've been uh, brought up in in this nation. Um, 200 powerful black students. I just want to give a major round of applause to congratulations. And ears to the street media has your back. Um, my organization, One Nation, at least has your back. And I will be uh, up, uh, keeping you guys updated on this particular situation. And I just want you to know, if we move as one, there's nothing that can stop them. Stop us and there's nothing that we can't achieve. Peace. I'm out. Make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe button. We out.